All right. It's still Tuesday, July 23rd. And we have another recording here. And I think this one I'll actually release tonight. Um, this is a poem I wrote many years ago. I was at a low ebb in my life and I was going, you know, I was trudging through human abyss after human abyss, trying to see my way through something. And this poem kind of exists as a signpost in time. You know, it's a relation of my experience and my understanding and where I've been and kind of where I was wanting to go. So uh, I think I titled it something like Sunday Eternal, kind of might give you an idea for the tone and the feel. But this was from many years ago, and, you know, I'm in a very different place, you could say, today. But, um, you know, you can question what do the depths of hell or depression or the human psyche look like? And, you know, for me, it was kind of something like this. I've spent my entire life speaking to people who weren't even there a hole in my head or whomever went there. Matter fought, torn, turned, strewn, with spirit interwoven, yet from one comes two. Of course blood speaks, claws and crowns unique. Oh my, my, oh my, what big teeth. Just you wait, you're in for a treat. Past forgotten memories become future fantasies, all not seen as history, kingdom come to speak and glean, all figured round about and above. It's just so, here we are, all evolved with nowhere to go. You think I am, therefore you think you be. You seem awake, torn the screen, unseen but heard in turn, baffling words. Don't when, don't know when or where's now. Who cares what, how? It seems it's always been this way, as long as I'm here to stay. I have to then ask, is somebody, anybody present? Not particularly slouch perception of reality, given gone to gravity that no one can uphold. But come and go no matter what the story told doesn't change the puppet show. Nothing here to heat or hold, yet you can almost see the seams, the strings like pixels on the bloody screen. <sighs> Broadcasting noisy days of whores and wars, prophets tend the flocks and herds who always beg for more. Fuck me, fuck you, they say that too, on repeat now and forever. Past unhearing ears beyond imprints of cosmic fear, what would anyone in a few short years care to even remember? Anything at all? The grass was green, the buildings tall. Wake up, wake up, pave dreams as far as the eye can wonder. Who were they? Why were they like that? Who are we? Fossils, fragments embodying our gods, lost in layers, forgot the cause. A Spider-Man, noble and true, he saved me and he can save you. And all the good people of NYC, they say he sailed with the winds like insects on the breeze, just as winter came to freeze over the rest of the children. Slate of hand with twisted knuckle, gaslit tin cans, young minds buckle, break snap, icy crack and chuckle, broken choking sons and daughters, content forfeit, muses slaughtered, naked and smeared, imagination ripped from all new years, inch to edge, a foot all fears, manufactured through the tears, mankind by the neck, not a question. Ion, shadow, suffer and strife, they say now they got it right, or at least they will come next time. Veritable redundancy from past to eternity, deeper asleep the more we scream a dreadful sort of destiny, paradise milk and pharmacies as far as the mind can pretend it's free, manifest inevitability, the blood will spill and flow like no one's seen or known, the future a vision to behold. Hands up, inheritance, thumbing down the reptile bends, evolving into primate friends. Forever and ever our means are end. No good or gods can survive our timely squander. Pain to ten, minds to wonder. The death of minutes is death of hours. Gone to all a man and more. R.I.P. the past exempt from memory. Kept alive on drip IV. Myth is cheap, delusion free for all this future rotten branching tree. Endless carbon larceny. Vestigial minds to break and take, but gone is our handy tale. That's T-A-L-E of which we swap and curse and spit switch the fever pitch changes with the season gone insane chasing reason off the cliff of nothingness secrets macabre to confess vivisection of you stress of you stress and husk remains to explain itself away <laughs> excuse me but the other side of awake a supposed reflection of sapience to those existing in the mirror might recompense some imagination of infinity 
banged out theories of cosmic singularities against abyss to which a self confess is who or what contrast to nothingness? More, more names and numbers, any sane, uh, more names and numbers, any sane animal obviously and actually knows. And of course, you're the stupid one. Or it goes, from no thing came something, of course we clearly see visions in a skull simply called reality. Exist for a spot, then you don't, some will it fear, some can't or won't. From two comes one, and one comes two, eye to eye, see through and through, measured in staggering metrics. After all, nothing here of after all, nothing else here subscribes or can pronounce. Pound of flesh, ounce for ounce, surely a jest, no discounted out. Zero me, you two, one done, none other animal can derive the sum or divide the whole of those whom try to see or make believe with simian ingenuity. The trees here bare of leaves, shit smeared where we sleep and breathe, painted paws grasping starry eye projection screen. Real to what or whom or just you and me? Our shadows unseen below, so above sights obscene, an eye for an eye, a me for a me. Buried in truth and all that we do, there is no you, the lights are off, the flesh is rude. None are home, all are dead, psychology of an empty head. A story once true is false, and false now true. On it goes, cause from one comes two. <laughs> Which is not to say we're not sentient, just what's lost is sentiment, and his humor goes to shit. The joke is that that's what splits it all right in two. For unity is a crime to confess. We love hate. Our hate's the best. Unconditionally full of shit means never ever a moment's rest from her, him, them, me, and you smashed together one into one from two. No need to think. It's just what the animals do, pre pretending to live outside the zoo. Someone forgive who says what and what says whom. Now gone to earth, such time as great men never return, spiting, smiting, desperate reveries of ghostly sorts of certainty gone now, but heard and heard as echo through the ages. Fictitious fragments of a real phenomenon, seeing God's, God, God's guts burst out across the Milky Way, and no one will ever know splendor, grandeur, impressions unknown. You hope you see your will, you won't. How do you feel? Illusion, it's often called, but the pain, the fear is oh so real. You can see it in the loudness of an animal's eyes. They don't lie, only crucify their gods pinned in the sky, but prey deserves its lot, or so the story is told. A dream beyond dreams that requires no questions, no point needed, we heed no lessons, life never needs a logic or a reason. The story writes itself with the seasons, a tale told by an idiot self, sound in fury on a dusty shelf. Flies and eyes, pain on sunny days, happiness is madness, have it your way. Ring, ring, beep, boop, drop, call, close down mall, people laughing before and after our universe... <laughs> Beep, boop, drop, call, close down mall, people laughing before and after, our universe torn asunder, right is left and up is not over, down is not the same as under, mutant from mud or ground and wall, this ape stands up and speaks tales tall, no place lower to left to even fall, into red roses and bruises blue, I think I know me, and I think I know you, because obviously from one comes two. Again, thanks for your time, thanks for your attention, I appreciate it. Have a good night.